In this video, we're going to show you how to make this pink dress, just like the one Cinderella's little friends made. And this wedding dress, because you never know when you'll need a wedding dress. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome back to our Multi Cinderella Makeover. I'm going to show you how to make this wedding dress. It's a very basic dress, so with a few changes, it could easily be turned into Cinderella's pink dress. This bodice is like the fitted lace-up bodice that I showed you in the previous video. And the skirt is like Belle's skirt. If you want to see those videos, click on the iCard or the link in the video description. I'll be using this doll for the pink dress. Her updo will need to come down to go with the dress. Her updo will become a downdo. <laughs> the fitted bodice. This fabric is about two and a half inches long and six inches wide. The darts are one inch apart from top to bottom. Sew the darts with matching color thread. Like I said, this bodice is almost exactly like the bodice I showed you in the previous video. Because this neckline is straight, they'll need two more darts to make it fit properly. The darts will go right here. The sweetheart neckline has ruching in the middle. That's why it doesn't need these two extra darts. Sew them with matching colored thread. Done. Okay, now the laced up back is done exactly like the previous video. So go check it out. I don't want to repeat myself here. And here it is, all laced up. Let's get it on her. Don't tie it up yet. I need to add the skirt. Here are the three skirt layers. First layer, second layer, and third layer. To keep the edges from fraying, I use fabric fusion on the bottom and at the waistline. Here are the measurements for the first layer. One inch hole in the corner and eight inch length. So the radius from red dot to red dot is nine inches. Sew along the open edge. The second layer. It's the same as the first layer, except it's one inch shorter. Sew along the open edge. The third layer. It's the same as the second layer, except it's one inch shorter. Sew along the open edge. And here they are, all three layers sewn. Iron the seam open so they lay flat. It'll look better. All ironed. Looks great. Okay, let's get the first layer on. In the back, take out the lace from the bottom hole. I'm going to make a new hole in the waistline of the skirt. And here it is done. This will hold the skirt in place. For the off-shoulder neckline, I'm using satin ribbon, 5 8 of an inch wide. Wrap it around. Cross it in the back like this. Sew it together and trim off what you don't need. It'll look like this. In the front, I'm going to gather the center and attach it to the bodice, like this. Tie the ends together about three times. This can be adjusted higher or lower. The bow will go in the middle. So essentially, this is the wedding dress. The bodice and the skirt are the same. This neckline is made from the same fabric as the dress and it's not gathered in the middle like this dress. This dress has a ribbon around the waist. The pink dress will have one too. Let's get the other skirt layers on. Layer number two. I put the ribbon through the skirt just like I did for the first layer. Layer number three. 
and I put the ribbon through the skirt, just like I did for the first and second layer, and tied it in a bow. Pull the bow under her skirt. Alrighty. Now to make the bows for the dress. I'll be using a quarter inch wide ribbon and a regular size fork. The bows come out so cute and perfect. If you want bigger bows, use a 3 8 inch wide ribbon and a bigger fork. This is a serving fork. I'll show you how to make these bows using the bigger fork and the wider ribbon so you can see what I'm doing. Wrap the ribbon around the fork so that it crosses in the front. Pull the ribbon down. Take the end and put it through the middle of the fork. Don't pull it all the way through. Leave a loop. Take the end and put it over the top, right in the middle. And then through the loop, like this. Pull it tight. There you go. It makes a perfect bow. And slide it off. Easy peasy. For the bow on her bodice, leave the ends long. For the bows on her skirt, cut the ends like this. You'll need seven bows for the skirt. Stitch the bow with the long ends to the center of her bodice. Take the ends and stitch them to her waistline on the outer side of the darts. Okay, done. Trim off the extra ribbon close to the stitching. And tie a ribbon around the waist. There. I want the ribbon to be closer together at the top, so I'm going to stitch them together. That's better. Now for the skirt. This white pin marks the center. The red pins are about three inches apart. That's where the bows will go. And I'm going to ruche the second layer. Before I do that, I'm going to sew a quarter inch ribbon along the edge of the third layer. Woohoo! Almost done! I saved one last bow to show you how to attach it. With matching color thread, put the needle through layer two and three and the ribbon. Don't need this pin anymore. Pull the needle through, but leave some thread hanging. Take the bow, the pretty side faces up, put the needle through the back side, right through the knot in the middle. Go back through the ribbon and layer two and three. Make small stitches down to the edge. And go back up right beside the first row of stitches. Both ends of the thread should be underneath. Now pull both ends. Instant ruching! And tie the ends together about three times. Dress all done! And now for the finishing touches. Her necklace and her hair bow. I made her necklace from this bracelet I found at the dollar store. The color is perfect. The beads are a tad big, but still looks good. Tied her hair up with matching ribbon with a bow at the top. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. Let's have a spin around and get a good look at these gorgeous dresses. The pink ball gown. The wedding dress. Now that you've seen two versions of this dress, which is your favorite? The pink ball gown or the white wedding dress. Click on the i-card and take our poll. 
If you have a comment or question, post in our community page on our channel. They're both so beautiful. It's so hard to choose a favorite. There are more ball gowns to make, so come back soon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. Oh, Fairy Godmother, the mice and the birds did such a good job on my dress. Hmm, yes, they did. A bit too good. Well, I guess you won't be needing me now. No, Fairy Godmother, I still need you. Come back. Oh my goodness, she's so sensitive. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.